Good morning. Little Adam, how you doing? Oh yeah. Little Adam thinks I should drive uh, him out to, yeah, I was thinking I'm going out west later this year and I'm gonna fly. I was pretty sure I'm gonna just get a couple airplane tickets and fly. Little Adam wants me to drive him. He wants to go out to Texas and Arizona and stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking of where, where have I driven Little Adam? You know, what states has Little Adam been driven to? Uh, Virginia, obviously, because that's where I bought Little Adam. But uh, Little Adam's been to Maryland and D.C. many times. Uh, I've driven, driven Little Adam in North Carolina, North Carolina, obviously, because that's where I live now. And Georgia and South Carolina. I think that's it. I really think that's the only places I've driven. I can't think of any other place. Of, oh, D Delaware. Delaware, of course. Yeah, we were in Rehoboth Beach there for a while. So, yeah, Maryland, Delaware. North Carolina, D.C. Uh, I did drive a little out in West Virginia. I, my 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 niece lives over there, so I've, I've driven over there too. So yeah, uh, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia. Oh yeah. Um. So the 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 news today it was very interesting. Crystal Vanner, who I really like. She has a nice channel. I think she's down there. She lives in Virginia, but she also has, you know, connections to Georgia and stuff like that. Anyway, she she was, I, I think I got, she was in an accident. Uh, it's like a year, a year and a half ago down there. She was pulling out of a park and I think she had to short stop and then somebody plowed into the back of her and pushed her vehicle. I don't know. It was something like that. It definitely wasn't her fault. I just want to get that out of the way because I, I was trying to remember the accident. But that she had then she had to deal with the health issues from that. She had to deal with the financial issues and the insurance and the bus and van. She's had a lot of um, interesting things going on with her during her various years of uh, traveling. But she says now she wants to get off the road for a while. Now I'm pretty sure she's going to continue eventually getting on the road doing stuff but for the moment she said it's time to regroup it's time to settle down somewhere and to work on some uh, you know, getting her finances in order you know again a lot of people talk about YouTube and we do see you do see that teeny tiny percentage of people on YouTube that really make the money you know you know many multiple thousands of dollars every month and you got to realize that most YouTubers don't do that. The vast majority of them don't. You look at the nomads and you do see the channels where people are you know, making three, four, five more thousand dollars a month on their YouTube income. And even that is not a ton of money when you consider it's pre-tax. And, and you consider all the different things they're spending their money on, like repairs and vehicles. And, you know, it doesn't go a long way. And it's a tough life. It is. But, uh, you know, for most people, if they monetize their channel, you know, they can make some chump change. You know, maybe pay a couple bills. <laughs> You know, and, they, and but you do need some other source of income. You really do to do it right. Whether you have, uh, whether you're on disability or social security, or you've got an inheritance, or you've got some other investments or some other source of income. You know, a lot of the nomads work on the road. Some of them have jobs where you know they you work on the computer, and as long as they have Wi-Fi, they can do their jobs. We see a number of them doing that. A lot of them do the camping jobs where you get a job at a campsite or you, you know, or you be like, you know, Brian, Adventure Van Man or Wonderless Estate James and actually take time off the road and actually get a job, you know? So, uh, you know, and, and you see a lot of people doing that. And again, these certain nomads that just seem to be, you know, living on their income, whether it be from YouTube or Patreon or PayPal or whatever, they're, they're few and far between. They really are. Uh, and, you know, there are usually other ways they're making money that they're not telling you about. <laughs> they're sitting on a pile of dough somewhere. So we see Crystal Vanner is kind of saying, hey, I need to 
spend some time focusing on my finances and and you know it's it's hard it's a hard life it's hard to be on the road all the time and then to make money and then to support yourself and and then you see these youtubers too that are getting a little up there in age where you know it's time to start thinking about saving for that good old retirement you know putting some money away for the future you know cuz there's probably going to come a time when you're going to be uh, in a situation where you're going to say hey I'm I got some health issues I need to get I need to take some time and work on that and I'm going to need some money in the bank to save up to do some stuff you know I'm, I, that's going to that time is going to happen you know it is it is so Crystal Vanner said uh, that she is going to take some time and uh, do that. So, And she's not the first nomad we've seen doing that. Again, we saw Living Free Mikey kind of just jump off the road there uh, and jump off of YouTube. Now, if these people are not taking down their YouTube channels. You know, they're keeping the channels up, which I think is a good idea because you still can make some money off your older videos, especially if they're evergreen nomadic stuff. You know, you can still make some money on it and then you still have a platform that if you get back on the road, even for just a brief vacation or something, you can get back on there and, you know, your your subscribers will still be connected to you. Uh, so that's a good idea. You know, we have seen some nomads get off the road and then take their channels down, which, again, that's a personal decision you got to make. But I think that it's probably a good idea to keep the channels up and channel up anyway all our best to crystal vanner i hope she uh figures things out you know hey that's what life is you know and just because you're a youtuber doesn't mean you're going to stay a youtuber forever and ever and ever it's for most people it's it's a phase they go through it they do it and then they move on you know and maybe nomadic life is like that too for many people it's a phase you do it it's you know especially when you're young because you can do some traveling and see some stuff and then there comes a point in time Time where you say I gotta start getting serious about the money and start worrying about my future and my savings and maybe it's time to settle down you know and there's nothing wrong with that right YouTube as a permanent job is probably not in everybody's future not in most people's future it's a it's a temporary thing right YouTube nomads is a temporary thing I'm gonna sing again I'm gonna sing I need to I need to start working on my uh, singing career, right? Hey, thanks for watching. Vlog under.